I have Tolu Lokwe, she's the manager. He's a team member at the Treasury Department in Access Bank. He joins me now for a midweek wrap of the markets. Uh, thank you so much for your time today, uh, Tolu. And let's first uh, get your take on the, on the debt figures we've seen by the DMO. Uh, thank you very much. So it shows that uh, our public debt at the first quarter stood at about two trillion, just like you mentioned earlier. And um, we've seen this figure continue to rise, particularly as the budget deficit for last year is still being funded by the Debt Management Office. Uh, recently, they shelved plans to uh, issue the proposed zero bond of about 900 million. Uh, this was to fund for the uh, 6.5 trillion deficit for last year. Uh, that plan to issue the eurobond was shelved as a result of pricing. So we've seen or we'll continue to see the DMO come back into the local market, particularly as we see an NTB auction being conducted by the DMO today for 167 billion at the auction scheduled for today. Yeah, but what do you make of uh, that debt to GDP ratio of about 23%? Yes, the government is saying about 40% is its benchmark, but 23% uh, is it time to worry? I mean, yes, uh, but it's still a far cry from the 40%. 23% as of now, well, we're still in comfortable levels. But however, uh, uh, we need to start seeking caution on how to start reducing these debt figures. All right, now let's look at what we've seen play out in the market this week, the sentiments we've seen driving uh, 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 activities in, uh, this week. Yeah, so for us, uh, in the, particularly in the fixed income market, we've seen uh, two-way trading come back into the market. This was uh, since the lockdown in 2020 two-way trading has been stopped but since Monday we've seen this two-way trading come back into the system and the market has been much more active however we've not seen so much interest particularly in the bond space we've just seen limited interest particularly on the short term short term on the instruments that's the 2025 bond uh, just to be specific uh, on the bill side we've seen renewed interest however market liquidity still remains a major challenge uh, market liquidity opening yesterday was about 25 billion so it has limited how much activity can be carried out particularly in the fixed income space uh, but today market is looking forward to the ntb auction a total of 167 billion is being offered like i mentioned earlier and particularly 163 billion is on offer on the long tenor bill that's the 364 day maturity so we we'll see much interest skew towards this maturity we expect that rates uh, particularly because of the level of market liquidity issue over quite uh, above the stop rates, uh, 6.49 was the rate it closed at the last auction. So we should see it um, over around these levels at today's auction. Yeah, because I'm looking at um, the up to date auction and uh, looking at your expectations and what you, how you think it compares uh, to with previous auctions. Yes, uh, so today uh, market liquidity will play a major role. Uh, the liquidity in the market is quite thinned out, so we won't see uh, so much subscription as we saw in the last auction. But however, we expect the DMO to try and manage these rates, particularly as they need to fund the deficit, uh, giving also consideration to the fact that the euro bond market is not uh, so conducive for them anymore. So they want to channel that energy into the local market. So we expect to see uh, uh, the DMO try to moderate rates between 6.4, where it closed at the last auction, to around maybe 6.5, 6.6. The band, it, the band should be between 6.3 and 6.6 at today's auction. Now, but finally, let's look at the FX market and what your expectations there, especially what we see in play out in the i &E window. Yeah, so uh, in the i &E window, the CBS still remains the major liquidity provider. Uh, the demand in that market is still very high. We've not seen uh, much of this demand being met. However, the CBN has been able to improve uh, liquidity by selling to the FPIs. We expect an intervention to the FPIs today. That's the foreign portfolio investors today. However, rate has continued to depreciate due to the high demand we've seen in that market. It's right, around 420 to a dollar today. Quite a lot to expect there, but um, fine. Let me just quickly get your outlook for liquidity. I know you touched on it a little earlier, but I'd like to get more concrete on what you think will play out going to next okay. week. Uh, so we expect the uh, liquidity to uh, continue to thin out as we expect the retail SMIS, uh, particularly on Friday, uh, where the CBN will be intervening uh, for the bank. So we expect the market liquidity to still remain around these uh, thin levels as we close the week. Uh, but by a large because of the auction, because of the CR debits that we expect on Thursday, as well as the retail SMS on Friday, market liquidity should be stressed this week. And particularly, we don't have any more auction maturing this week.